This is a 46 inch cut Husqvarna Revolution deck. Um, or as many of you call it, the toolless blade removal deck. This is on a uh, YT46LS tractor. <coughs> but what we're looking at here is the fact that everybody always said, oh, well, if the blades aren't bolted on there, as soon as you hit something, they're going to fly and off and they'll kill somebody. You know, that's a terrible design. That's a terrible idea. Well, here's another one where somebody hit something. And you can see um, it's, you know, about a half inch difference between the Oh, a little bit more than a half inch difference um, between these blades here and this one's bent up and they did not come off so we'll take these apart here show you what all is inside there what holds them on how it works as we put the new blades on here's the main part of the um, quick release setup <clears throat> or toolless blade changing um, set up on the uh, Husqvarna lawn tractors. This is uh, what's on the bottom of that spindle. This will be bolted right onto the bottom of the spindle. So you'd be looking, you know, um, straight in at this if you're underneath the mower deck. So you got this, uh, this piece here. It's got two magnets in it, one there and one there. They are awfully strong. And you put the blade in. The blade has these tabs here that are um, holding it from spinning around inside there. Then this comes closed. Flip this buckle down. Oops. And then this part here, flip that back down and you'll see this is spring loaded. And that flips over and that locks it as well. So it's locked there at multiple points. Um, it can't spin or rotate in there due to these tabs. It's not going anywhere as you can see. Um, you know, as you saw, I should say, um, this guy hit a, hit a tree root or something and bent a blade up on his. It did not come flying out of there. I've had some that were bent at a good 45 degree angle already and stayed in there. All right, put the nice new shiny brackets on here just to give you a better idea um, of what's what under here and see how this works. While it's on the mower, um, you know, what you do is Lay the mower blade up in there. Magnets hold it in place. Put that shut. Put the wire down in the hooks here. And then when you push it, push this shut. This is a spring-loaded uh, locking tab here. So that's gonna lock shut. Uh, I'm this. So as you can see, you can. You can push on this blade and move it around a good bit and it's not going anywhere. And then there's a uh, actually a cover. We go on here, flips up and that latches shut. And this keeps all the, well not all, but most of the dirt out and everything and keeps anything from getting caught on the mechanism there. But even if it did catch, you know, it's got the spring loaded locking tab back here. You can't just pull that open. So that's how it works.